Well, with President Putin in Australia, with other leaders for the G20 summit, some of his most vociferous critics, Nadia and Masha from the punk activist group Pussy Riot, have arrived in the UK for a week-long visit. They'll meet MPs and speak at the Cambridge Union. But John met them earlier today in central London for their first British television interview. They took their protest against the nature of Putin's rule and his undermining of women's and gay rights right into Red Square. But it was their 42nd anti-Putin performance two years ago at the high altar of Moscow's Christ the Saviour Cathedral that landed Nadia and Masha in jail for almost two years in brutal conditions. Undaunted, as soon as they were out, they were beaten up whilst protesting once more at the Sochi Winter Olympics. So today, over tea and cakes at the University Women's Club, I asked them, do they still bear the scars of prison? How we look like? Hmm? I have only actual physical scars. You do? Yes, I do. Where? Because I went on hunger strike and uh, it caused some injuries. They beat you? No, they don't beat me. Um, just, force... just, just see uh, hunger. Because of uh, hunger strike, you have some injuries on your skin. I think everybody are damaged at somehow or at some way. Mm. And uh, prison is not so different as probably some our regular life. And you're not worried about going back to jail, jail which has left you scarred? In Come on, we can speak about Putin. It's, it's not uh, a real Soviet times. You can speak about Putin, but... Uh, it's quasi-Soviet. Um, I mean, if you try to do action, mm. you will probably have problems. Mm. The thing is that uh, you have no place to publish except Facebook or Twitter because all the government media or just near government media, uh, they are all under the censorship. But with, with Facebook and Twitter, you can more or less say whatever you like. Yes, I do. <laughs> do you believe that we are entering a new Cold War? I don't think that uh, <clears throat> it's actually an uh, end, because, uh, because you know, we have our uh, old tradition of it, and uh, now people who are running the power in our country, they are from uh, that Soviet ages, and they believe in that Soviet myth about uh, there is uh, only one way of our policy on, in the whole earth, I mean, uh, American bloc and anti-American bloc. How, how do you think that Ukraine will end? How, how will that? I, I hope that it will not end. No, I don't mean Ukraine itself, but the Ukraine crisis. How do you think it will end? I mean, yesterday, oh. or rather, this last week, there's been more movements. Of... I think that, uh, you know, the war, it costs. And uh, if our government will not have more money for war, it will stop. But actually, uh, as we've seen just last half of the year, they unfortunately don't listen to anybody who, who wants just peace. Can you live a normal life and be activists? We are doing it. Yes, um, you do. we yes. are in process. We are in, co in co permanent process. We we just uh, visit our office each day, and uh, there are a lot of people who work there. More than a dozen of people. So, so you can leave your activism behind, go home, and live a normal life. Kind of normal, normal, normal Russian life. And you don't live at home with fear of a knock on the door. Mm, think no, <laughs> actually, um, my neighborhood, he is um, a FSB officer, as I know. Um, and uh, also, we are and always. And you get on well with him? Uh, yes, I'm saying well, they put to him, him hello every day. Did they put him there, or he happened just mm. to be there? No, he's just living there. It's just a. It's a coincidence. Mm. Yeah. And. Um, we are always making jokes about their listening our phones because the quality of conversation is quite bad when they are listening. So it's, it can be funny if you want it. Nadia and Masha from Pussy Riot talking to John with a matching tie.